marketing the first year in business by giving back to the community. Mike Gill, the owner of Michigan Peddler, is here to tell us about the first Pedal for Charity. Good morning, thanks for coming in. Good morning, Anu, great to be here. And the pictures always look so fun, so if people aren't familiar with it, what exactly is Michigan Peddler and how'd you come up with it? Sure, uh, well the Michigan Peddler is a 15 passenger party bike. We're located in downtown Detroit. So we take groups, bachelorette parties, birthday parties, corporate outings, friends and neighbors, go out together, get a group together, go out on the bike, see the sights of the city. Some do a pub crawl, some do other experiences like take their kids out on the bike for a birthday party. It's just a really fun way to see the city and get and hang out with a group of people. I bet people make a lot of memories doing it that way, right? Seeing the city. Yes, definitely. I mean, people come out, we've had 92 year old birthday parties on the bike. We've had 12 year old <laughs> birthday parties on the bike. We've had a ton of bachelorette parties. People are always laughing and we'll get emails like a week or two later saying, geez, I can't stop thinking about how much fun I had on the bike. Thank you so much for the good time we had and you know, created a special memory for my family. I love that. So you have a good time. You're also now celebrating that first year and wanting to give back to the community. So explain what Pedal for Charity sure. is. So we've been in business now for just over a year and what we thought was how can we say thank you to the community? Um, you know, no one knew what we did, no one knew what we were all about when we started, so we said, uh, and people embraced it and we had a great first year. So this was our way of kind of saying thank you back to the community. So we're giving our rides uh, from the 18th to the 23rd right now going on. We've given away a number of rides to charities and said take the bike and use it to have your own fundraisers on the bike to raise uh -huh. money for the organizations that are participating. How's it been going so far? What kind of response are you getting? Well, we had, we've had a number of groups on the bike all this week and we've got more going out today and tomorrow. Um, we started off, we had, for instance, the Fraser First organiza organization. They're working on uh, creating a barrier-free park in their city. So we had them out on Tuesday. We had the Imers Foundation, which was started by a nine-year-old who's now 15. I had a chance to meet him uh, the other night, but he raises money and that foundation raises money to help homeless people in Detroit. Uh, last night we had Hatch Detroit out on the bike. Um, they help entrepreneurs get started yeah. in the city. They raised $6,500 wow. on our bike during their ride. Today we've got Passport for the Arts going out. We've got Wish Upon a Teen going out tomorrow. Um, our whole week has really been filled with a lot of great charities going out. And, and raising, I think we'll raise over $15,000 over the course of the week. That is fantastic. What a fun way to also give back to the community. And before you go though, I know people are really starting to hear about you. You were also on uh, the Detroiters? We were. Featured we were on the Detroiters. Way. We had a lot of fun filming with Sam Richardson, who's from Detroit, Tim yeah. Robinson from Clarkston. We had a blast filming. We spent two days filming with them. Somehow the episode, we ended up in a freeway. Um, <laughs> going down onto the Lodge Freeway. So it was, it was a lot of fun and a lot of crazy things happened. It's a, it's a funny TV show. Well, congratulations to you and continued success. And again, the charity rides go this weekend. We'll have more information on our website, WXYZ.com. We'll be right back.